Hi everyone, welcome to my live reading on Instagram. Tonight we'll be talking about Jake Paul and what's going on with Jake Paul. So I just got done doing, um, I recorded three different videos for YouTube. And I also did two personal readings for some clients right before I did that. So I'm pretty tired. I kind of have a headache, but I was like, I have to see what's going on with Jake Paul. So today we'll be talking about Jake Paul. I'm going to try not to be on too long. I am available for personal reading. So if you would like a personal reading, definitely check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. Also, if you're watching this on Instagram, make sure you follow my Instagram page and keep up with me. If you're watching this on YouTube, because I will post this on YouTube later, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, hit the follow or hit the bell on my YouTube channel as well. Okay. Um, so, hi everyone who's here. Hi, BB Nix. Hi, Embrat1971. I hope you all are doing well. Let's go ahead and cleanse the energies. We'll be talking about Jake Paul and seeing what's going on with him. What happened? Why? All right. Thank you, Father God, for cleansing and clearing the energy of the space when you pass readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Jake Paul and see what happened to him. Thank you for clearing and cleansing the energy of this deck from any past readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions, and the thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Amen, amen, and amen. Hi, Sugar Spice Life Jersey. Hi, Jersey Girly. Hi, hi, Kevin. How are you? So, okay, we're going to be talking about Jake Paul. Let's see what happened with Jake Paul. Why is it happening? Why Why did it happen? Why is it happening? Let's see. I don't know why I see him talking to someone and saying, like, I literally hear him saying, I have this crazy idea. I don't know why I feel like this may involve guns. I know that he got, like, they pulled a whole bunch of guns from his home. I think that's symbolic. I think I think that's one of the reasons why they raided his home. I think there's something with those guns. I'm like, I hear unregistered or like something like that. Like, I'm almost feeling like maybe he was involved in some, I don't know if I could call it a scheme, but some like maybe like Ponzi pyramid thing involving guns. <clears throat> that's what I feel. I also heard just heard sex trafficking. So I don't know, like, if maybe there's a connection there with Jake Paul or what. But I, this is all alleged, by the way. This is all for entertainment purposes, okay? Let's see. But yeah, I'm like seeing a gold mine. Like, I'm seeing money around, around these guns, like, involved in these guns that they, uh, raided his house and took away from Jake Paul. So there's definitely something in connection to those guns that the FBI took out of his home. There's also something about like possible sex trafficking. I don't know if it's actually sex trafficking, but there's something suspicious with that too. Um, I do see like, I don't know why I'm seeing like people being coming over his home, being invited to his home. There being maybe drugs or drinking involved. And like, there is some shady like kind of behavior like maybe there are young girls there or young people there and it's kind of like we're all drunk take off your clothes strip for us kind of thing i don't know but i'm seeing something like that you know um where jake paul it's like it get, i get the energy where it's like jake paul after dark like on you i'm not subscribed to his channel or anything like that i don't watch his videos but it's like on he appears to be on camera one way a certain way but behind the scenes He's totally different. That's what I feel. Like behind the scenes, he's a bit darker. He's involved in some definitely shady activity. He's also involved, like, I feel like there's something about the people around him as well. Like are, are like involved with this. Because I see a guy, I don't know, I don't know if race is going to be important here, but it, like he kind of looks like white, mm, Spanish looking, like mixed-ish. This other guy I'm seeing. Um, I think this guy was a bad influence on Jake. Whoever this guy was, he was a bad influence on Jake. Or is... Oh, wait. It's Jake Paul, right? We're talking about Jake Paul, not the other one, Logan. Okay, yeah. Because <clears throat> you guys know I'm bad with names. I get names mixed up. It is what it is. 
it's, I already have a lot to remember as it is, okay? So I don't want to hear it. But, yeah, that's what I see about Jake. Um, sorry, you guys. I think there were, like, there's something about those guns that they, they seized from his house. But I think there's something he was involved with connected to those guns. So maybe it's, a, like, some sort of scheme, Ponzi scheme. Um, could be something involved with money. But I'm hearing registered, unregistered. Something like that. It feels like some sort of underground scheme, though. Like, I want to call it a scheme. I don't know if it's really a scheme, though, but it feels scheme-ish to me. Like, whatever this is. Like, that's... I'm wondering if he's made money off of this. He may have made money off of this, and that's why the FBI is involved. Because they've been watching him for a while, too. There's also a connection to the people around him, though. Like, the people around him. Maybe some of the people involved in this scheme, too. Like... That's what I'm seeing. I don't know why I keep hearing 17-year-old as well. Like, I don't know. Like, there could be something about a 17-year-old. Maybe a 17-year-old girl who's going to be prominent in this as well. Or maybe who was around that atmosphere. Maybe, like, she has a story to tell. I'm also seeing Tana Mojo. So was Tana what was was Tana with Jake or was Tana with Logan? Because I, I I don't know anymore. But I'm seeing something about Tana Mojo as well. I think the brother is gonna get, the other brother is gonna get in trouble too. Logan, he's gonna get in trouble somewhere how some somehow some way. But um, I don't know why I see Jake having to owe back money from whatever it is he did connected to this uh situation with the guns he's gonna owe back money and i think he's gonna take a lot more people down there's gonna be a lot more people that go down because of this whole jake thing i think there's a lot of people shaking in their boots and i feel like this might deal with something online like you know how there's like a black market or like the dark web or black web that's kind of what i get from it it's like something like that I'm telling y'all, he's like, some of these YouTubers, man, when, I feel like whatever it is he was involved in, when, like, the world finds out that he was involved in it, it's gonna be like, what? He was doing what? And we were looking at his videos? You mean to tell me he clicked off the video and was doing that? Oh, like, I feel like that's the energy I get. Let's cleanse the cards, like... Let's do. Let's pull some cards. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck from the past reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Hey, everyone in the room. Hi, Louise. Hi. Hi, the Cap Energy Tarot. Hi, uh, uh, Avili. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Flood. What's gonna happen to Jake Paul? What's gonna be the outcome for Jake Paul? But I feel like this was gun related. That's why they seized all those guns. I think there's some sort of scheme involved in this. Could be dark web related, Ponzi scheme related, I'm not sure. There's also something about they took him down for something else or they may take him down for something else. Could be involving, I don't know if it's trafficking, sex trafficking, child trafficking. or But I, there could be young people involved. Like I keep hearing a 17 year old. That's what I feel. So what's going to be the outcome of Jake Paul? What's the outcome for Jake Paul? I get the Six of Cups. I think there was someone young involved. Someone young. She's not so innocent because I get it. I have female energy. I'm sure there were young men too. There's a lot of young energy. Could be kids in the neighborhood or something like that. But like, she's not innocent herself. But I mean, I don't know. Something. I'm, and now I'm hearing cash grab. So maybe there's something about this that's a cash grab. I get the Wheel of Fortune, all that money, he, he got tied up in something with money, money related to those, um, money related to that, those guns, I'm gonna stick to that, there's something about that, money related to those guns, and he got himself in a sticky situation in regards to that, he's gonna owe money back is what I feel, 
he made money from those guns. He made money illegally somehow. He made, he was involved in some legal illegal Ponzi scheme. He was involved in something where he benefited from it. Maybe he turned a blind eye to it. Something like that. He made money regardless. That's the issue there. I get the four of pentacles, so he's going to have to pay all that money he made back, though. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I actually kind of feel bad for you, Jake, because I think the money dries up, too. This is going to put a stain on your public image. I get the three of swords. You can kiss those sponsors goodbye. Um, when, whenever it is you come out of jail, because I do see you potentially going to jail, allegedly, all right? I mean, the world's going to be different for you. I don't think you're going to be in jail long. I mean, you know, that's not surprising. You know, white privilege and stuff like that. You can be mad at me if you want. But, um, I'm seeing it. I, I mean, I see you going to jail al allegedly. That's what I feel. Your poor mom. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for your mom. Your mom's even going to be surprised that you were involved. You were involved in some shady stuff, Jake. You know, it's like the white boy who like wants to be down in the hood or wants to be hood. And then he gets himself caught up in some hood shit. But it like, it, this doesn't feel totally hood to me. It feels like, it kind of feels hood, ghetto-ish. But it's like... Something about it is like almost set up ish energy. But set up in a way that it's like it feels more like a professional setup. You know how like it's like a professional hit? You know how like people have like shooters out there and stuff like that? It kind of feels like that. Like mafia type something. But I think Jake Paul's actually gonna talk though. I think he's gonna talk. He's it's gonna be very six nine ish. Alright. Um He's going to rat people out, most likely. No, that's going to suck. <clears throat> but um, I do think Jake Paul has uh, business people behind him, lawyers behind him, that are going to try to quickly turn this around for his benefit when he does come out of jail, allegedly. Um... I don't know why I'm seeing something about, like, an octopus or... I don't know why that... Or like, what that means. Maybe it could mean bridge over bridge underwater. Um, I'm wondering if there's something about animal abuse here. Or maybe he's, like, thrown... Maybe there's evidence in water. I'm not sure what that means. Hi, Coke Smurf. Hi, Michael. Hi, Adrian's wifey. Yeah, Angie, they've been watching him exactly. Angie says they've been watching him. Adrian's wifey says, can I have a reading, please? One card. Why? Adrian's wifey always comes in my Instagram lives and asks for a free card reading. Girl. Okay, here we have the two of swords. <clears throat> How How are you, Michael? Michael, I've been noticing, uh, like, a lot of the stuff I've been saying in your readings. I've been watching your Instagram a little bit. Some of the stuff was come true, actually. Some of the stuff I said in some of your readings have come true, it seems like. Um, but anyways, back to Jake Paul. Jake is so dumb, I swear. How do you think of getting away with things in the USA? Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Oh, that's Maya. Oh, so that's Maya. Yes, Michael. Yeah. Free 99. Right. I think Jake Paul got himself caught up in something business related. I think he got himself caught up in some sort of scheme. I'm going to stick to that, you guys. He got himself caught up in some sort of scheme. Could be relating to guns, but it could be also related to other stuff as well. Drugs. Because I see product. Like I see product around him. You know those schemes where it's like you you get you get a whole bunch of product and then it's like you get paid somehow or you get paid for selling the product it's like something like that I'm seeing Angie says Jake has exotic pets that he shouldn't have like pet sharks in his aquarium okay because that's why I saw octopuses because I'm like 
this card for some reason she's sitting on the moon but i don't know why i looked i was like looked at the card and i was like that looks like the leg of an octopus to me actually which i usually don't see for that card but i don't know i'm wondering if there's animal abuse jake i, I mean that house has a lot of things going on with it so i see the fbi or police going back and forth something like that in between that house but I think this was kind of an inside job, Jake. I mean, I think you had too many people in your home. Too many people had access to different things. I also think people were hiding things in your home. These could be illegal things. Um, and it's like the, the lid got pulled off. And it's like there's nothing you can do from every little nook and cranny in your home being being inspected so i mean if you have any stashes you know they're going to be found um whether it's they're found by the police or they're found by um fbi or <clears throat> other people because there could be break-ins too to be honest with you while you're not home i'm assuming you're not home right now i don't know what your situation is but there's going to be a period where you're not home allegedly and I see you worrying about, like, oh, my God, are people going to break in? This one and that one has a key. Like, this is your Uranus and Taurus moment, Jake. So that kind of sucks. But it had to happen. You were involved in some shady shit is what I'm seeing. So that's how the cookie crumbles for Jake. I mean, literally, this is him looking back at his empire and watching it burn. This is the end final card I get. So that sucks, Jake. Um, not all money is good money. All right, sometimes that street cred is not worth it. Why can't these people just be happy with the millions they get from their, their jobs, you know, their legal jobs, their good, you know, well-paying jobs, and just, just be happy? If you have a gun collecting hobby, if you just have a weird hobby, well, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that actually. <laughs> but I, I don't know, you guys. But that's my reading on Jake Paul. Um, Jake Paul needs to be careful. Um, and good luck with that, Jake Paul. Okay. If you guys want a reading from me, I am available at lamartownsintero.com. Okay, I would love to read for you. And we send Jake Paul good good luck, you know, good luck, good healing energy, okay? Um, and yeah, it is what it is. This feels like a takedown. This feels like um, almost like a mafia hit to me. That's like the energy I get. But I'm going to stick to what I said. I think it involves those guns. I think he was involved in something with those guns, like some scheme or something like that. Some sort of something like that. Maybe he was involved with the mafia. I don't know. Jake Paul to me, like, he has that energy to me where it's like, I don't know, you know, how you guys grew up, but like, I, it's like you, like you're in a really nice neighborhood, but there's that one white boy in the neighborhood, like who, who's like the drug dealer, you know, like that has all the drugs, the weed, the, the coke, the, the guns, like he's that type of dude. That's what I feel. And he has this perfect image of like, you wouldn't suspect it at all. That's kind of the energy I get from Jake Paul. So. When you want to do hood shit with your friends, hood shit happens. And that's what happens. So. We wish Jake Paul good luck. Alright, so I'm done with this reading, you all. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to uh, go eat and take a shower and take off this makeup. Because I've been filming videos all day. Little do y'all know. So new content will be coming to my YouTube channel soon. Look forward to that. I'm going to be finishing out the Zodiac signs for August, uh, September, and October. All right. So yes, Aquarius and Sagittarius are coming soon. They're already recorded. And um, Fox Polo, Kevin says, I'm loving this shirt. Thank you. It's Carl, Lager, Carl Lagerfeld. I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue. So I love that store. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. And... Um, Talk to y'all later. Smooches.